Cleveland balloon disaster is a set of disruptions that occurred as a result of the release of 1.5 million balloons on September 27, 1986. As a result of the disaster, two people died and social life almost stopped. Cleveland, Ohio, in the 1970s, was a joke. But by 1986, the city had made progress and Clevelanders wanted to celebrate with the largest simultaneous balloon release in history. This was going to be a record. 2,500 volunteers blew up 1.5 million balloons. The designers built a giant structure to hold all these balloons together, and they put a giant net on top of the structure to prevent the balloons from flying away. These balloons, made of biodegradable latex, were supposed to pass the city's tallest structure, the terminal tower, and head towards Lake Erie. They would explode there and disappear. But weather conditions disrupted this game. The night before, the wind had reached speeds of 100 kilometers per hour. The weather was not good on the afternoon of the celebration. Just after the balloons were released into the air, a rainstorm hit them. The storm also changed the balloon's direction. The balloons that were going to go to the lake suddenly began to make their way into the city. Even the Cleveland airport suspended flights for 30 minutes to clear balloons that had fallen on the runway. The balloons went as far north as Ohio and even reached the Canadian border on Lake Erie. The balloons scared a farmer's Arabian horses and even caused permanent damage to the horses. The farmer sued and won the case. Two people died due to the balloon scandal. A missing report was made about two fishermen on September 27th, but the Coast Guard could not call the fishermen because the lake was completely covered with balloons. At one point, Cleveland achieved its goal. He really broke the record. Guinness recorded this disaster as the world's largest simultaneous balloon release record. This record could not be broken again because after this incident, large balloon releases were banned due to environmental measures.